Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel! welcome back to my channel today we are grubbing down on some cuts and slices pizza we're gonna try it out because i've been seeing it on tiktok and i want to see what's it about and they have like some exotic ass pizzas and i'm for it i'm for it so uh, let's get it in because you already know the deal your girl is starving if you are new to my channel welcome to the fam bam lovey don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notification enough mumbo jumbo let's get down to the nitty gritty and stay tuned because i will be announcing the christmas giveaway winner at the end of the video so in the cart there's arm if you see that we got let me pull out the handy dandy <laughs> receipt i have in my pocket okay so this place is in Brooklyn. I am going to put the info down in the description below. Um, we got the salmon bites, uh, a beef, a regular beef pepperoni slice, brown stew oxtail slice, garlic parmesan shrimp slice, jerk chicken black truffle slice. Yeah, that's it four slices and the salmon bites so we gon' we gon' see um i'll tell you guys the total because you guys like to know all the details so the total for four slices and the salmon bites was 52.18 now you have to remember it's pricey but they're not regular slices like the pepperoni slice was five dollars typical but the other ones they're a little pricier because it takes work like you're talking about oxtails they gotta cook the oxtails shrimp like is it expensive you know what i'm saying so reasonable prices i think like make the price make sense you know what i'm saying because i know you guys are like oh my god that's so much money you gotta support you gotta support businesses you know what i mean times is tough the economy is so expensive. So let's try the salmon bites first because they look bomb. And they smell. You know what they honestly smell like? <laughs> the fish nibblers from White Castle. So, see? They look like little chicken tendies. Like, that's a gorgeous. That's a gorgeous little bite right there and then it comes with sauce i don't know what kind of sauce but we gonna try it out and honestly they're so friendly in there it's not even funny so we gonna give honest reviews here okay because they do smell like fish numbers okay i was worried about them being dry but they're not. See the moistness? And the sauce is like. Mm. Look at me taking a bite without offering my little sister. <laughs> we should have taken the bite together. They're good. Mm. Oh my god, the sauce. Sorry. Honestly. I want to get them again. Mm. They're not heavy. Like, they're light. They're good. And they're not, like, salmon sometimes can have too much of, like, a fishy taste. But these, I see you. <coughs> they're good. Mm -hmm. I feel like the sauce makes sense. Yeah, this sauce. 
I don't know what it is though. Honestly? It's like a mayo ketchup, no? <laughs> it's like mayo ketchup. <laughs> Which is just mayonnaise and ketchup. That's what it tastes like to me. I don't know what it is though. I should have asked them, but they're good. They're not dry. I'll give them eight at a time. And the breading isn't too thick either. Yeah. The breading's not too thick. No more. All right. Get to this pizza. Let's get into these slices. All right. The first slice we're gonna try is the brown stew oxtail. Oh, this is a big <coughs> thumbnail. A little. Okay. So it literally. That looks slamming. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite and then I'm not gonna say anything. And I'm gonna let my sister take a bite and then we gonna say it together. <coughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Now. This shit is fucking slamming. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna heavy sweet. as hell. Like, you know how like sometimes a lot of toppings on a pizza, and I'm like, damn, oxtail could sometimes be a little, a little heavy, but this, this. I'm also glad it's not sweet. Like the seasoning is good too. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> Eleven out of ten. Fifteen out of ten. This is popping. All right, we can't get full. <laughs> But I'm a face this one. I'm gonna go. One more. Yeah, but which one do you want to try next first? Okay. We're gonna try the all the exotic ones and then we're gonna go for the plain. So let's cleanse the palate with a little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shrimp garlic. What is it? Garlic. Shrimp garlic parm. Parmesan shrimp. I want to know how. <laughs> I mean, you already started. I don't know what to expect. Yo. Guys, I pay for this with my own money. I'm mm -hmm. gonna give you guys the honest review. Right? This one? Yo, and it's light. I don't get it. This <laughs> one is better than the oxtail. I didn't think you could get better okay. than that. Okay. Nah. <laughs> they like right there, honestly. Mm. Yo. I like that one just a little more than the oxtail. Just because of the garlic. Yeah. No. The oxtail is fire there too. <laughs> That's so good. Like. Flavor wise. Like. These have flavor. Okay. Oh my god. 
I want to fucking do this one too. Excuse my language. Yeah, I know you love this one. You can finish this one. <laughs> no. Oh my god, that's so good. All right. Wait, I need a little water. <laughs> okay. Next up is the truffle jerk chicken Alfredo, Rick. Okay. Woo! Look at this puppy. Am I saying anything? Hmm. Your face for the shrimp was a lot more excited. Whoa. It's good. It tastes. It's spicy, okay? It is spicy. <laughs> it tastes like jerk chicken I had straight from Jamaica. Like when I went to Jamaica. It is good. It is but good. spicy. And I like that you're actually getting the Alfredo because they put the Alfredo sauce. Mm -hmm. Cause at first I was like, where's the Alfredo? But. Oh. We didn't read the last one. The last one, the shrimp one. I'm gonna give another 15 out of 10. Fire. I'm gonna give this jerk chicken. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Only because it's a little too. Too spicy. <laughs> spicy <for me. coughs> but flavor wise flavor wise is fire like I don't know how to explain it to you guys if they're not heavy like you would think like, sometimes when I get a buffalo chicken slice, that shit is mad heavy. Like, it's, like, thick. But this is, like... <laughs> you can eat, like, two of them and be good. Here, you want more? We need a little bit of water. Because... <laughs> it's spicy. Okay. We tried all the exotic ones. We're gonna see if they're good for a regular slice too. Because you know, some places could specialize in like the exotic slices. Some places are just good for like their regular regular pizza. We're gonna see if this one has it both. I hope it does because if it does, it's gonna be my new like spot for when I want pizza. And I will make the drive because my windows in the back are even getting foggy. And the pepperoni slice looks bomb too. Like. It's the good pepperoni, the beef pepperoni. Excuse moi. All right, we gonna see. I gotta make the fucking drive to Brooklyn now. <laughs> The only thing I was nervous about with this place, because I saw how the crust was, I was worried the dough was going to be too thick. Yeah, in order to hold all the stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Like, and the sauce, too. They're regular red sauce. You know what? <laughs> I'm just annoyed that my dieta going to be a little fucked up today. Right? Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to give that pepperoni size. We're going to give it a... Turn, turn. Yeah, bro. That's a good... That's a good pepperoni slice. Like... That's like a... That's a New York slice of pizza. And the pepperonis are a little crunchy, like crispy. <coughs> it's 
also helping cool down my mouth from the jerk yeah. chicken. <laughs> um, fire. Fire. They have so many other slices, by the way. Like, oxtails, they have sweet sweet chili sweet chili uh, uh, sweet chili oxtail they got curry oxtail they got this brown stew oxtail um they got salmon pizza right salmon pizza um chicken parm chopped cheese chopped cheese lasagna uh lasagna they got so many slices and not to mention the beef patties too. They got oxtail. Oh yeah, they got beef patties too. We were out. That one they have brown stew. Um, patties, and we was already getting the pizza. So I gotta watch my carbs. Sorry. Their pizza's bomb. Like their sauce. Okay. I know you like pepperoni. You can finish it. Wait. No, you can finish that one. Mm -mm. I'm gonna finish the opposite one. <laughs> We're gonna do a little happy dance. Okay. Back to my baby. <laughs> we don't like TikTok. It's like me and Mr. Wrong get along so good. The only reason this is why Mr. This is Mr. Wrong is because I'm not supposed to be eating this many carbs. Like, do y'all hear that crunch? This <laughs> Sorry Good job cooking slices Like I said If you're in New York, come check them out. The only thing is, I think the oxtail is getting in my teeth. But. Ten out of time recommend. All right, if you had to list them, what would it be? List them what in order of good. Like in order from one? your favorite. I mean, it's not like least right favorite, but like which one would you hands down order again? I already know which one she's gonna say. <laughs> <coughs> My number one is the shrimp. The garlic I know it. shrimp. Second. Mm. Second would have to be the jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. Just because of the spice. Because you know I love spice. Mm -hmm. And I like the Alfredo in there. Third, oxtail. Fourth, pepperoni. Because I feel like this. They have so many good like. Um, exotic slices pepperoni would be the last thing on my mind <laughs> mine <laughs> would be oxtail first brown stew oxtail then that shrimp parmesan um then the jerk chicken and then pepperoni And 
then the salmon bites were good too, but the pizza's where it's at, I'm just saying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Put me carb. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. <clears throat> okay, make sure I have up. I'll have to sell my teeth. The winner to the Christmas giveaway is Jeanette from Bron from the Bronx, New York. I'm not gonna say her last name for privacy issues. If she wants to leave a comment, that is totally up to her. But I do not like putting people's businesses out there because I'm sure it took a lot for everyone to reach out, tell me their little story a little bit. Um, so Jeanette from the Bronx, New York, you are the winner, which I actually was already in contact with her. I did all the shopping on Sunday for her kitties, for her three kitties. And I'm so glad that they're going to have an amazing Christmas And if you guys did not win, there will be future giveaways. Um, any chance I can to give back, I am more than happy to. And I truly do it from the bottom of my heart. Because to me, Christmas is all about kids and them having a Christmas with toys and everything they like because I remember how happy I was when I was little and I was getting all the gifts and everything. So I'm happy that I'm able to return the favor to you guys. Um, and yeah, remember to always pay it forward. And like I said, there will be future giveaways. Um, I wish I could gift to every single person that entered. Um, if I could, I honestly would. But congratulations, Jeanette. I hope you and your kitties have a wonderful Christmas. And may 2023 be even bigger and better for you. And trust me, it don't rain forever. The rainbow eventually comes out. So, I yeah, am. That is all, my lovies. Remember to give this video two big thumbs up. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fam bam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats. Peace.